The latest competition, a wildly popular one, invited you to compose topical double dactyls. The double dactyl was dreamed up in 1951 by the poet Anthony Hecht and the classical scholar Paul Pascal. My well-thumbed copy of Jiggery Pokery, a wonderful 1967 compendium of the form edited by Hecht and the poet John Hollander, reveals with pride that Auden to whom the book is dedicated used the form, thrice, for the choruses in his Aesopian playlets moralities. Double dactyls generally bring out the best in you, and this comp elicited an entertaining parade of double dactylic notables, and pursuits egomaniacal, unoligarchical, prosecutorial, hetero, philoprogenitive. The winners earn £15 each, but in a strong field Bill Greenwell, Penelope Mackey, Philip Rowe and J. Kershaw too. Hugh King Foggily Froggily Michel B. Barnier, consummate bureaucrat, raises the price, crushing the will of our flummoxed and browbeaten and plenipotentiaries held in his vice. Nick McKinnon higgledy piggledy pastu so Paddington gets himself banged up in Pentonville jail, even the Larry Ostan Arctophiliac joins in the whip round for Paddington's bail. Adrian Frima Pileropoli, Manchester's Morrissey goes back to crooning, his novel a fail. Hoping his audience, characteristically, still want to hear a man tunelessly wail. W.J. Webster Bifty Bofty Anthony Joshua heavyweight champion top of the pile talks of his legacy hyperballistically nemesis listens and smiles a slow smile. George Simmer Stubbly Dactyly Benedict Cumberbatch Won't you indulge in a three-in-bed romp? While you're behaving so uncontroversially I have got nothing to mock in this comp. Rob Stewart Yemily, Mummily, Catherine Middleton's pregnant again to the rapture of wills, I'd be as lavishly Philip progenitive if I could stretch to the nursery bills. Joseph Conlon Hoyta de Toyta Emily Thornberry, feminist lawyer and labor MP, speaks with a manner quite aristocratical save when men style her as Lady Nuji. Rob Hurst Taxley, Maxley, Franklin D. Roosevelt gave the inheritance levy a hitch, Trump says, repeal at our agro-industrial future depends on my kids staying rich, Frank Austin Limberly, Kimberly, Chloe Kardashian, Courtney, and Robbie seem destined for fame's roster, since they all have double dactylically speaking stupendously talented names. Robert Schechter Higgledy Piggledy, Ludwig van Beethoven, if he could glimpse what our world has become, likely would find a new applicability for his immortal phrase Dum 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 Max Gut Mono Body Joe Body George Papadopoulos, Fetcher of Coffee, the Trumpists have said, incontrovertibly met with the Russians, so maybe Trump sent him for vodka instead. Your next challenge is to provide a New Year's resolution or more than one, if you like in verse. Please email entries of up to 16 lines to lucy at spectator.co.uk by midday on the 27th of December.